This is the first of a two-part sequence on logical operators in MATLAB. In this video, we'll briefly review the purpose of logical operators and do some simple examples. In the next video, we'll do more complex examples. Like relational operators, logical operators are typically used in conjunction with relational operators shown in this table here. The basic syntax is to have some relational expression followed by one of the five logical operators and then another relational expression to the right. Like relational operators, the output of a logical statement is a special data type called a MATLAB logical, aka a boolean, which uses 0 to represent false and 1 to represent true. You'll see that some of the logical operators employ what's called short-circuiting behavior. This means that the second expression is evaluated only if the result of the entire expression is not fully determined by the outcome of the first expression. Consider this example. We have a double AND, which means that both of these expressions need to be true in order for the entire statement to be true. However, the first statement is clearly false, so the second expression won't even be evaluated by the computer since we know this entire expression will end up false. The second expression can be changed to something that's true, but it wouldn't even matter since the first expression is still false and MATLAB will terminate the operation early. Short-circuiting is used when comparing scalar logicals. If you're comparing logical arrays, use the single operators instead. Let's turn to MATLAB to explore this in more depth. Here we are in MATLAB. You can download a skeleton script file or a completed script file from the links in the video description. Let's start by evaluating some scalar logical expressions. Here, we're seeing if both a is less than 3 and b does not equal 7. Both of these expressions are true, which we can confirm by entering each one into the command window. Because both of these expressions are true, the entire expression is true. Let's do another example. a is less than 3, but b is not less than or equal to negative 1, so the whole expression becomes false because the AND requires both of these expressions to be true. Here, the first expression is false, but the second expression is true. Because the OR only requires one true expression for the entire thing to be true, we get a logical one. All of these examples utilize short circuit behavior since we dealt with scalars. You can use a single AND or a single OR and it'll still work, but try to use short circuiting behavior for scalars whenever possible. In the next video, we'll examine logical operators applied to arrays.